hello 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 um really really quick video um this is just a quick video to show something it's in response to um a forum thread by deloquack 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 sorry if i'm murdering your name um this is a thread i've been really interested in because it showed a quite a nifty way of cooling geyser water and uh, the premise is basically skimming water from your pool of hot water running it through um, some pipes dropping it through a vent and eventually if you look at the pictures you end up getting cooled cooled geyser water which is really awesome um, and a lot of people have been tinkering with it and adding their own spins on it and I would recommend going and reading this thread if you're interested in geyser uh, cooling a geyser I have to excuse my throat by the way guys once again I've not long woken up so I do apologise um, but Basically, this, this thread was really interesting to me, so I've been doing a bit of tinkering myself, and I've built something similar to this in um, my offline playthrough, um, and now I am in Debug, and we're in Debug, before anyone says anything, this is Debug, um, I built something, and I found something really weird out, or, not I found it out, but I don't understand what I've done, so if somebody can enlighten me, please do, but basically what, what I've got here is um, a pump, it's in here. This was meant to be for our runoff water when I got it to the right temperature, but don't worry about that yet. We're, we're not there yet. Um, we've got a pump here that's sat at 64 degree uh, geyser water. Um, it's very hot, and the water in the pipes is also 63 degrees, 63, 63. Uh, it's all pretty toasty water. Um, what I basically did, I've got it going through some valves, uh, vents up here. And then in the room, we've got some wolframite pipe. Just threw that in there for a bit of extra um, metal in the room more than anything. Uh, we've got some wheeze warts that are sat on mesh tiles. So we've got like seven of them in the room. And then I've got a very basic sort of gas system behind. So if I run this for a second, um, pump basically is pulling any gas that's in the room. It goes into here and gets uh, circulated, circulated, circulated. And then... Uh, there's a valve up here to keep the flow going, and then a couple of vents to deal with any build-up, and it just runs. It's, it's not it's not ideal, but it's just something I threw together, and I thought it looked quite pretty as well. Um, this is running the air that's in the room, which is at about minus 30-odd, um, so that's the cooling that's occurred from these wheeze warts, basically. And, yeah, uh, just to show you, I was running this for a while, and I've run it all different types of flow controls, and... Um, basically the water was going up through the pipes and it wasn't really changing temperature if anything the geyser was actually getting hotter um, because as the top level of water was getting skimmed off it would erupt again and be even hotter um, so I ran this for about 10 cycles or something and was tinkering and tinkering and nothing was working and then all of a sudden um, if we keep an eye on this you'll see it's just staying around 60 odd uh, but then I got a little bit bored and thought I would try something with gas permeable tiles. So gas permeable tiles made of wolframite. Now, I need to do this in a bit of a certain way, but basically what I did was, uh, if we pause it for a second, you'll see this water is still all 60 odd degrees, 61.3, 61, 61. Okay, I'm gonna put in a few gas permeable tiles and then I'm gonna unpause it. And then within about a cycle, this will probably be ice. That's the point of this video, so. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? I have one there, one there, one there. So these are just Wolframite gas permeable tiles. Nothing, no trick, just that's all it is. And um, we'll just leave it like that, okay? Now what you should notice is when the water starts coming down, it'll hit these tiles and the water will split, okay? And when it splits, it has like this little, the the, the waterfall effect where it's like little um, tufts of, of vapor, if you like, so watch, watch what happens. Okay, and then we'll start getting ice very quickly. All right, and if we keep an eye on our geyser water, we might need to tinker with the flow a little bit. But you'll see that we we are actually getting little blobs of ice here and there, and it's still raining water, but it's water that's passing through ice, and our water is now at twenty six degrees. Very very quickly. You see this, this, this waterfall effect? Yeah. And again, there's nothing else in the room other than the pipes. There's, there's no trickery here. Um, our water's at 27 now. 
what we can do as well, excuse me, we can we can adjust the flow of the water. So if we dial it down a little bit more, we'll get more ice. If we dial it up a little bit more, it'll try melting some of the ice. But essentially, it will always lead to a geyser being frozen. Um, so I've not figured out how to quickly skim off the water that we want. I could just put a pump down here, I suppose. But then, eventually, this geyser will freeze. So you probably need like a tepidizer or some hot pipes behind it on a switch or something like that to thaw it out every now and again. But 16 degrees... This is very fast. Like... Yeah. So I just thought I'd show that. I'll, I'll, I'll put this on the forum thread and let people make of it what they will. Um, yeah. It's very, very fast. And even if we, if we crank this valve all the way up, it just won't produce as much ice, but it will still have the same splitting effect over the gas permeable tiles um, and pretty much instantly cool it. So yeah, 16 degrees. Uh, yeah. So now the water flow is going to increase, so you'll probably not see any, any ice now. Um, but yeah, that that's my findings really. What do you make of this, guys? Um, it's just literally gas permeable tiles that are splitting the water every time it hits a tile. Um, and obviously, because it's made of wolframite, I'm assuming the the gas permeable tile itself is transferring its temperature. You know, you can see the tiles getting colder and colder and colder. And obviously, once this gets to like minus two, because it isn't actually point whatever it is for water, it. it if it's moving, it'll freeze at like minus two or turn solid at minus two. Uh, minus 0.6 is when it's meant to freeze, but from running this already, it, it doesn't freeze at that temperature in this setup. This stuff will, the stuff that's kicking around, but, but yeah, 14 degrees, that's with a maximum flow rate as well. Um, so these will be like 10 kilo packets. So yeah, that's that. I'm going to wrap the video up. Um, make of it what you will. Play, tinker, show me what you do. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, again, um, I'll put Deliquax forum thread in the uh, video comments. So, um, yeah, go and have a look. Cheers, guys. Take it easy. Bye.